Hi guys, Jeff Harvey here. I'm a freelance photographer and the Irish Hereford Breed Society and Irish Hereford Prime have asked me to give you guys a few tips as part of their photo competition. Oh yeah. Simple things that you can use even with your mobile phone. So there's no hassle. You don't need any big cameras or equipment. You just need to have a few little tips to have in your toolbox that'll help you take better pictures of these guys. Usually, you have your camera with you. That's one of the main things. Your phone is always in your pocket or it's not too far away, so you generally have a camera handy. So, let's start with a little set of tips that I'd always recommend to people. The first thing is, does the picture need to be taken at all? The second, have you got the right angle? Do you need to go higher, lower, and move around a little bit? Maybe zoom in, pull out, just capture the angle properly. Right? There's high, we go even higher, now we go down low. Right? So see the difference? High is okay, normal height is grand, but when you go down low it does make a difference. You get more drama, you're looking up, and a big part of that is, it's from an angle you're not used to seeing the subject or the animal. So when you're down low and you take a shot, it gets a different angle. You can go really low. So there's a nice shot of this guy. Right? And it, you got the tree in the background. I'll talk about that later on, about composition. A really nice way to look at it is, go low. Go really low, down as far as the grass because you're not used to seeing things from this angle. Take care, for example, right? Before I gave him a fright, I got that nice frame. It's slightly different than you're used to seeing them. Down low, shooting up. So another great tip is bum to the sun. You keep your bum to the sun and you have light going with you when you take the picture. So if I turn around, you'll see, even though it's an overcast day, the light is there, it's got a better light on me. So when I turn this way, a little bit more contrast. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to go with the sun, with the light, and that'll give you a nice, well-lit picture. So let's take a look at this scene here. What we've got is the horizon, we've got the sky in the top third, we've got the animals walking in the middle third, and we've got this animal lying down in the bottom thirds. So with that then, you've got more composition. It's divided in three rows and three columns. It's called the rule of thirds. It helps the brain to look at something a little bit more balanced. We feel more comfortable when things are fitting into the rule of thirds. So this animal sitting down is in their own little section. If we come around this way, we can do something similar. Animal sitting down, this is where we change the angle a bit and it makes a difference. So if we come from here, right? Animal up, animal down. If we just put them all in the middle, it doesn't have the same effect. Lead-in lines are another great composition tool. It draws the viewer's attention in towards me. Literally, lines point in towards me here. So you imagine taking an animal down a lane or a road, and you have the lines, the edge of the road, pointing in towards the animal. Now, with those tips, get out there and start taking pictures. For more information, and with six different classes to enter in the Hereford Photo Competition, go to www.irishherefordprime.com, www.irishherford.com, or visit the various social media channels to get more details. And remember guys, when you're out and about, and you're on the farm or out in the land, always keep an eye on your surroundings, know where the animals are, know how to get away safely if anything happens, and keep an eye out for any hazards, and stay safe.